And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today we're going to do a little bit more tidying up and expansion because, well, why not? I kind of liked it last time. Uh, over here, we're finally mining out these components. We left these so long because, well, they were under heavy mountain, uh, as in that roof, heavy roofed in mountain area. That's how you get bugs. So we didn't want any bugs, so we didn't mine this out. However, I did remember we got an infestation over here less than, what, about a season ago? And when it comes to infestations, you can only get them once every year to once every year and a half. So we're going to scoop all of this stuff out, then we're going to put the bricks back in. I, I just wanted to make sure there was an infestation done, because if we had an infestation spawn on here, it would be absolutely crippling. So let's, let's just uh, avoid the risks of that by bricking that back up before there's a chance of another one happening. And in the meantime, we're going to start flooring everywhere at last. It's gotten to the point that I think we can take advantage of, well, we've got enough of a workforce, we can floor the whole place and we should be able to take advantage of that nice little speed boost it'll give us. Before this, it wasn't really worth it. Well, I didn't consider it worth it. As well as that, our animals walking back and forth are going to cause an awful amount of filth, so we're going to have to start restricting them to non-floored areas after this. To help out with our chem fuel problem of having too much, we've put this little, well, honeycomb section here where we can dump in all the chem fuel. Preferably if one of them pops, well, okay, except for this section over here. If one of them pops, it won't affect any of the others, and it's just unlikely anything will get in there and damage them while it still leaves them accessible. Well, that's the theory. I've never really messed around with that before. It's just these sections over here. We don't really want to cram this in any tighter, because at this, if this pops, it won't set fire to the other ones on either side. And assuming it's not, say, full of rampaging insects or centipedes, we should be able to get in there and put out any fires. That's sort of the hope. I mean, if a fire starts in there and there's already a bunch of uh, monsters, you're, you're not getting in there to put it out. And that's kind of the way with this. If something gets in there and starts killing everything, we won't have a chance to put out the fires either. There's no real safe way to store it if there's going to be things rampaging in there. All right, that done. I think it's time we sent out another mining expedition. We are running out of components. We're down to, oh God, eight. Uh, okay, I let that get a little bit out of control. We have two to choose from, though there should be more coming online shortly. Uh, let's see, there's this one over here. Lump of compacted machinery with 15 days left and one with hostility detected. I don't like hostility. Hmm. 21 days left on that one. You know what? We'll go for the 15 day one first. That'll get us a bunch of components and then we'll send out the mining team to the next one. Our mining team is going to be a... Uh, Actually, you know what? We'll wait until the mining team gets you there. I'll show you how fast they are. Well, we're waiting for our miners mining team to get there. There's one quick quest we can knock out, and that is Zach's Loveless Acolyte Ceremony. Uh, perfect. We'll just grab that. This just means that we'll have uh, a few more silings to throw around to hopefully get a few more words of trust for when we start recruiting heavily again. Uh, they'll pop down over there, and once they're cooked, <laughs> cooked into unconsciousness... Where are they? Ah, yes, here they come. Of course, we could have forgotten to turn, put our party spot in there, which means the uh, this team is going to go somewhere else for the party. Where are you going? Please tell me you're not going down here. That would be... No, I haven't even claimed that table. You can't cheat, use that as a party spot. Oh, wait. Um, giving up and leaving. Their mental state is broken. They're suffering from severe malnutrition. I think I know what's going on here. This is the same person we keep heat stroking every time. So they've literally run out of food, and every time they come back, they're just starving. Oh, well, that's a problem. I wonder if they'll make it to the edge of the map, or if they'll collapse. That's why if... Oh, never mind. That's just one of those weird quirks of the exploit we're using. Well, they managed to make it off the edge of the map. The rest of them, it seems, will get back in the shuttle and leave. We'll, uh... We'll have to accept another quest later then, I suppose. Well... A minor issue has shown up. Just a minor one. We had a bit of a prison break, but that was no problem. We bet them down instantly. No, the problem is malaria. 29 cases of malaria, which means each one's going to need a medical tend probably twice. So that's at least 60 medicine that we're going to be using. I think I need more herbal medicine plots. I've only been using one. I dropped back to one because I thought we had too much. But just checking now, we only have we have 110 herbal medicine left in stock. That's not going to be enough for these sort of things. Yeah, we're going to need another farming area. I'm thinking, uh, let me see. Yeah, this one down here. We're going to brick this in and that'll give us eight more sections. Are we going to need a bunch more solar for this? Oh, I need to start doing some more math on how much solar we're going to need. This here looks like it'll be fine. We'll wall this whole area in. We'll stick in a few sun lamps. Now, we do have two blocks of solar, which means even through a toxic fallout in a nuclear winter, we could support 28 sun lamps. We have 23, so we can stick in another five here before we got to worry about sticking down another power brick, which is good because we don't have the components just yet, which reminds me. Yep, this group is just about to arrive. Timing, timing, timing. Uh, they're five hours in, which is perfect. Uh, let's zoom in here and have a quick look. That looks perfect. We'll take it all, thank you very much. 
All right, let's get everyone in there and start mining. This crowd should be, actually, let, let's just watch. Every single one of them has one mining drill arm. Let, let's just put that on slow speed. This is them on slow speed mining. Yes, this is them on double speed. Oh my God. So they arrived here, I think at five o'clock. How long will it be, do you think, before they've mined out this entire section and they're gonna start heading home? Hey, where, where are you going? Cloud watching? You know what? It's fine, you can go grab some recreation. They're, they're, we're still gonna get through this in no time at all. Six hours. Six hours to mine out 144 components. Really nice to have such a large specialized team of miners. They are just, yep, drill arm, drill arm, drill arm, and drill arm. And if you trick under the number section, you can see their mining speed is, yeah, it, it's just great. It's excellent. All right, let's send them back home. That was a, uh, I'm going to call that a wonderful component run. Actually, is there any animals here? It wasn't worth the time of uh, sticking around. Let's see how our colony is doing in terms of sick people. A lot of people should be in bed right now, sleeping off malaria. Dear Lord. I gotta make sure, I'm gonna have to do a quick check through on the number section to make sure everyone is doing okay. Everyone with the green arrow means they're getting better faster than the malaria is hitting them. The red arrow tells me that they, they're not gaining their immunity as fast as the malaria is increasing. So for those ones, we're going to increase their medical care up to industrial tech. That means on their next 10, they should hopefully get a better dose and be able to get over this. Ooh, wow, how are you doing? Bramble seed, not doing too good down there, buddy. Yeah, that's 11 malaria and 8% immunity. You're 3% behind. That is not good at all. I better keep a close eye on this or we're going to lose a couple of colonists. To follow that up, we've got disease, animal flu. Okay, that's fine. A couple of Labradors got it. That's actually, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that'll be grand. We don't even use medicine on the animals unless they're uh, bonded. Research-wise, we are, yeah, we've got a few minor things we're just knocking out, but after that, it's nothing but well, the high-end stuff. We also need to get our hands on a few of these uh, tech prints. Uh, sooner, soon enough, we'll get around to them. But for now, we're actually got a little bit of a cam here where we're going to build this in, get ourselves some more uh, herbal medicine coming in. We're going to need a lot more crops. I think we can put in about five more sun lamps before we're going to need a second solar block. I'm also trying to assign out all the bedrooms at last. Um, just slowly but surely we're moving everyone into these new rooms because I should have done this a while ago. But we're still going to need one more bedroom section. There's just, uh, that's 48 rooms, plus we're putting certain only specific people in here, so this place is not really going to be packed just yet. So we need one more bedroom area, but only after this is done. Oh, one thing we do have to take care of is uh, one of those chemical addictions I left on the long finger. Number 13, Jason Zelinsky. They came to us with a psychite addiction and we just sort of ignored it. And they've been uh, they've been chowing down on the psych IT pretty consistently. The problem is their psych IT tolerance has gone up and up and up, meaning they need to drink more and more psych IT. That's bad because now it's like one dose of psych IT barely takes care of them at all, and it wears off so quickly. Um, we need to, yeah, I think we're going to have to lock them up and wait until they get over their psych IT addiction. So they're going to be out of the picture for a couple of seasons. We have someone coming over to arrest them and put them in prison. However, defoliatorship has also shown up. This is. Timing, timing, timing. Any animals nearby? Uh, yeah, chickens, I think I'm gonna move them out of the way. Though, we finally got our chickens up to a reasonable amount. There is, yep, we got a lot of chickens. We, we don't wanna go too crazy on the chickens though, otherwise it will lag us out. But for now, it is a good way to, for us to get a bunch of meat. We might just cull out all the males after a while and just live on the, the eggs they provide. But we'll worry about that in a minute. For now, yeah, let me zone some things. Then we're gonna see what joys Randy has gifted us today. Zones all changed. Let's have a quick look, see what we got to deal with here. Ooh, 15 centipedes, six lancers, and eight scythers, and one ship defoliator. Hmm, very simple. We'll open that door there, make sure all of our animals and people are not in any of these outside areas. Uh, we might wanna, hmm, you know, then we draw them into our kill box and then we shred them with a, a just huge amounts of firepower. That seems like our best bet. Uh, we can give that a minute though. Hmm. Actually, should we? Yeah, we'll do it first thing in the morning. We're going to do it. I think we'll activate them with mortars. Uh, we're, you know, I'm due to make a couple more mortars. I was going to make a mortar barrage area, but we'll, we'll do that after we get more crops in. It's just, there's always some new critical thing that needs going. Like, yes, we need more medicine right now. So we need a whole bunch more greenhouses for that. But once that's done, then we'll get on to, well, actually, no, we'll get on to doing a dedicated uh, production center that, you know, does all of our machining and uh, smelting, all that stuff. In fact, I think... We're almost done on the research front, are we? 
yeah, once we're done on the research, we can kind of rip out that research lab and we can turn this entire place into just one dedicated production facility. In fact, actually, yeah, this will become our dedicated production facility. I should really just start replanning around that. Yeah, we'll worry about that in a minute. No, though. So, now, now we need to get rid of this and as soon as possible. Hmm. Now we can put the plan. The plan is we are going to wall off this section here. That will stop them from trying to go in that direction. That means we'll still have full access to all of this area without them, you know, trying to maul us. Then we can just open these doors here, let them into our kill box and destroy them. However, there is a whole bunch of animals have shown up and it's just, we've been hunting and oh, and oh, eight Yorkshire Terriers have joined us. So I believe the expression is, uh, looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. We're going to draw them in there first. Though, considering the amount of gazelles and all sorts of meat that has just shown up recently, I think we're, we're good for a little while longer. How are we looking on the fine meal front? Oh my god, we've almost run out, have we? 10 to 44, that's that's not good. Oh, and a, a quick checkup on Jason Zielinski here. Number 13, yeah, just, they, they've only been in prison for what, less than half a day, and already their uh, their psychite addiction withdrawal has gone up to 2%. Minus 35 mood, as well as that like consciousness moving, manipulation, all that stuff goes through the floor. It's just, for so long they've been addicted, it's just, yeah, this is going to be a brutal come down. Oh well, let's... Uh, Let's get this finished. I'm going to have to do, manually do this though because we have so many build orders queued up. I think these ones went these ones went in first, so they're going to try and do these first before they do this one which went in later, so I'm going to have to manually assign them out for this. And we are ready to move. We've got this walled in here. We have this door open down here. All we got to do is trigger them. All our animals are restricted from this outside area. Um, you know what? It's easier to show, don't tell. This is the animal area we've got set up. It keeps them inside our walls, meaning they should be protected inside this area and not cause us any mess ups. Oh, you also don't notice they're, uh, they're zoned out of our living quarters and a few of the crop areas and things like that. We don't want them messing those things up. So what we should be able to do is trigger these. They shouldn't get drawn to anything else and they should come straight down here and try and get into this room here. And we'll line up our kill box full of people. But first, first we have to do a quick naming section just because I'm worried some of these may die if we don't name them now. For our 63rd colonist, please welcome Doc2008. They will be going straight into building. Uh, at this point, we're just putting people into like one thing at a time. It's just the way it is. We have so many specialists that we just want to specialize everyone in just one task because it's easier that way. Now they've got chemical fascination, like lots of our colonists, an annoying voice, and they're nervous, which will increase their mental break threshold. Also, incapable of dumb labor, so that cleaning is going to be no good. However, they'll, they'll do a little bit of warding on the side, and they're missing a right hand, so they've immediately been chucked under the limb section. We'll, we'll get them a replacement at some point. I really wish they were had an interest in farming or mining, and we could just give them one of those arms, but meh, never mind. Please welcome number 64, Matea. They'll be going straight into wardening and science, namely because of, oh, by the way, they're a tortured artist, teetotaler, ascetic. That is just such an amazing combination of no. Uh, incapable of dumb labor, because of course they are. They're 35 and they have no actual health complaints. This one actually kind of works out. I could try leveling them up in artistry, but honestly, we have so many statue people already. I don't really care. I prefer if they had uh, crafting as a skill. Crafting or construction would be great, but they don't, so tough. No health conditions though, so that's always a plus. Colonist number 55, Mal Malonsus, Mal Malionsus, Mal, 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 never mind. They are going to begin going straight into animals and cleaning. Uh, number 10 for animals is great, but there's no real point putting them into anything else. We've got so many specialists. Uh, no intellectual, no mining. A creepy breathing teetotaler, because of course, I mean, honestly, I think we should take in all the teetotaler prisoners and use them as organ donors. When you think about it, the, the teetotalers would probably have the best organs to give because they're not doing any drugs. Number 66, Jacob Carroll. Straight into mining, side and cleaning, namely because Tefunti got two things they're good at. Psychically dull and nervous. Uh, we can live with that. Health conditions, zero. Solid colonist. Number 67, no time to play. They're going to be a builder, side and cleaning and all that. Namely because the more builders you have, the better, and they're pretty rare to get your hands on. Pyromaniac, because of course they are a jogger and lazy. Yes, yes. And uh, I just noticed they're missing a left leg, so we've sent them off to get a replacement uh, peg leg. They'll be fine. Number 68, we've got, and I know I'm mangling this, Joy Hogu. Joy, Joy Hogu? Whatever, it's Joy, Joy, Joy Hogu. Joy Hogu, you're going with Joy Hogu. Uh, they are going to be in building and cooking chemical interest, careful shooter, nervous. That's the second nervous person in a row, and why do we have so many people with a chemical interest in this colony? Plenty of scars to go around, but ah, they'll, they'll be fine. Next up, number 69, Halo Davis, craft doc. Yeah, they're going to be crafting and doctoring, but honestly, they're not going to be too good at it. Despite the careful shooter and undergrounder, which are great traits, they've got liver cirrhosis because they came to us with a massive alcohol addiction. This has made their consciousness reduced, which makes their moving, manipulation, talking, eating, all of that is through the floor. Yeah, we've got them on the limb section. All of these people need some sort of replacement. This person needs a replacement liver. 
Yeah, tough. Sorry, Halo. For our 70th colonist, we have Darmok, which I presume is, is a Klingon name. That would explain the staggeringly ugly and the steadfast, though not the kind. I suppose they're a Klingon with a heart of gold, maybe? Animals and cleaning. Burning passion in animals, so why not? And all the rest of it we don't really care about. I was going to put him in artistry, but we, we have so many people already doing art already, so it's, it's not worth it. Uh, one scar on the right arm. Solid colonist. Our 71st colonist, Tom Powell, is going into planting and cleaning. They, of course, have chemical fascination, because of course they do, and they're a careful shooter. Uh, we're, we're not even putting them into artistry for obvious reasons, but planting and cleaning, we need more people on plants. We're also, well, they're also missing an eye, and they've got a stab scar on their left arm. We'll be replacing one of their hands with a uh, field hand in a bit, once they get their planting skill up a little bit higher. And that is all of our recruiting done for the day. It's now time to activate our mortars and attract the attention of these uh, wonderful, wonderful centipedes over here. Hopefully, oh, there they go. Two mortar shells inbound, and come on, give us a good impact. Good impact, good impact. Yeah, we actually killed one of the, killed a Lancer. You know what? I'll take it. All right, we'll keep up the shelling on this until they start coming to attack us. If they're, oh yeah, great. You're just gonna wander around? Muppets. Okay, we'll keep shelling them until they eventually decide to attack us. If they don't, well, we'll kill the defoliator. Well, that's drawn their attention finally. We just had to kill it. That took a lot of mortar shells. How many are we down to? 18 left in storage. We've already got people, though, churning out a whole bunch more. We're down to 18 shells, but we'll we'll crank it up to 50. Okay, you two, you can uh, clear your prioritized work list and get back to work. Well, make sure the animals don't come in here anymore, and we're going to have to line this whole place with people. I think, yeah, we're going to have a full kill box this time around. Well, here they come, and here comes our group. I've grabbed, was it about 35 or 36 people? I think that's the maximum we can fit inside the kill box. Bear in mind, we have 71 pawns, so this isn't even, this isn't even max firepower. We're going to need a bigger kill box as this goes on. All right, I'll get these lined up, and uh, we'll see how it works out against all of this. I think we actually have too many people for the kill box, even with the reduced numbers. That's, uh, that's a very, oh, no picking those up, buddy. Go away. Th those pawns are going to want to pick those back up again in a minute. All right, let's see how this works out. I think we've got some overwhelming firepower, though there, that is an awful lot of nasty centipedes. Ooh, maybe we should bring Ortec up. Jesus. Yeah, I don't think that plasteel is going to hold out for very long. I have no idea how that animal got there. It's in the correct zone. It shouldn't be anywhere near here. It's in animal area. And animal area is like way over there and over here. It, I, I don't, I, yeah, that was, um, it seriously just ran right into a bunch of centipedes on purpose. Why? How? Never mind. I just noticed we've got another fold. Where are you going? I presume it's coming down to this area down here. Or over there. It, it's fine. It's fine. Just let me get some people who got a little bit scorched back on the firing line. I am sure our fire foam poppers will at some point decide that they should go off. Uh, I really thought they'd have a better detection radius. But it doesn't matter. There's like nine centipedes, eight centipedes left. Ow. Okay, those people are no longer on fire again. That's fine. How many are we down to? Seven centipedes. Yeah, we got enough firepower that we're actually chewing through them fast enough. Ow! Six. Good shot, centipede. Good shot. Well, that's a big pile of corpses. For some reason, the animals kept passing in here. You know what? Doesn't make a difference. Oh, wait, there's one left. What is that? Scyther. Uh, I'm going to send all the injured people home. Uh, nope, you're injured as well. Uh, we'll let the other people who are not injured stick around just a little bit longer. Oh, Desky, you can go too. And the Scyther can come in and get a very warm welcome. Once it's dead, we'll uh, repair up the kill box and change all the zones again. One of the first things we're also going to do is going to work and we're going to crank a construct up a notch just to make sure that 
construction gets prioritized. Uh, we're going to go over here and make sure that this gets downgraded. We don't want anyone going near that just yet. Uh, also those. We can finish those off later. I We need our kill box back up and running as soon as possible, just in case Randy decides to throw something fun at us. Kill box repaired, everything back to normal. Uh, we've locked those doors, and I think we should have retrieved all the components. Yeah, we got, all, oh, we got the advanced components, but we didn't grab the simple ones. Uh, however, I have been watching De Schweitzer here try to eat a meal for God knows how long. They're about to collapse. They're, they've got uh, food poisoning. I think someone with food poisoning cooked some meals and it caused some problems, but uh, De Schweitzer here has not been able to finish a meal. They've, they've five times come close, but every time they puke just before they finish. And that's, oh, they finally managed to do it. There you go, buddy. Now you can go to sleep, probably because you're exhausted. Anyway, I think we'll keep an eye on anyone trying to cook and make sure they don't have any negatives. We have summoned in this uh, bestowing ceremony so we can grab the Silent Neuroformers. However, in this instance, I think we're going to let this person die, if at all possible. It's just uh, they've come in and they were already extremely low expectations, but serious pain, tired, blistering hot, they're sun died, and they're malnourished. Yeah, they're going to have mental breaks. We'd, I'd rather they didn't. Uh, oh, and we can get rid of all those medical beds. Those can go. Yeah, let's see if they die in there. What's the temperature? 114. Yeah, hopefully they'll heat stroke out. All right, uh, it's time to finish this off and put in our new crop area. Well, okay, things did, did not go according to plan. Uh, the Blue Empire are now hostile with us. What the hell happened? Well, all right, so we can't let the person in charge die. Right, um... I thought that had happened before that they died, but no, it seems that is now a problem. That killed them. Okay, are they... They're not hostile to us, why not? They are in restraints? It's classifying them as prisoners. Oh, we rescued them first, so they're technically prisoners now. Oh, that's good. Um, Yeah, grab those immediately. Grab them and... Oh, that's 60% chance. Hold on, I am going to grab a bunch of people and we're going to arrest all of those. If we can arrest all of them and put them in here... Yeah, let's see. We can then release them and get a bunch of... Actually, can we release them? I don't think we're allowed to release them. We have to... Ah, oh, damn it. We have to recruit everyone we capture, so... Looks like we're recruiting a bunch of the Empire's troops then, aren't we? One thing to note, I was doing this wrong. What we can do is, since they were technically arrested already, we can just set take them to bed. Uh, so long as you've got them selected, you've got the option. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, all the rest of them are... Should now get picked up. This means there's no arrest chance or any worry about that. They just pop along grab them, and bring them to a new bedroom. Zero worry about any arrest problems. Nice. Oh, great, now we got to recruit those. That means we're going to have to buy friendliness with the Empire again. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, lesson learned. That's one of the downsides, I suppose, of stroking these guys out. We'll, uh, we'll have that corpse carried over to a corpse spa somewhere. We have new lovers. Number 69, Halo Davis, and number 43, Cadiz. All right, and neither of them have any uh, negatives like, say, aesthetic or, you know... Anything that requires them to have a special bedroom, so we'll stick the two of them over here. Nice. Oh, and that reminds me, I still haven't finished off this area. I need to put in a bunch more recreational buildings. Before we can get around to this, we have to do a quick prison break here. Thankfully, we managed to strip most of these before it happened. Uh, I saw that they were all wearing recon armor and I decided stripping them down was safe. Normally, uh, for the tribals, I don't bother. Oh, damn it. Alpaca 26. Why didn't you just stop that one? Okay, you... No, no, I want you to get in the doorway. Yeah, stop them from moving. That's fine. The rest of them will shoot as they get trying to get away. Uh, don't let that one escape. Yeah. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. There we go. Uh, animals are now here. You can pull back. And the rest of you can pull back. We'll just shoot him. I, I'm not too worried if a couple of them die, to be honest. Yep, get back. <laughs> A couple of dead prisoners, no big deal. Uh, we already recruited one of the Empire's new troops because we, we hit them with uh, one of those uh, caster spells, was it the Word of Trust? And they only had 20 trust to begin with, so we basically knocked them down to zero instantly and recruited them, so they weren't even involved in that prison break. In fact, I don't think we even stripped them out of their armor before that happened. Oh, we should get them a gun. Yeah, we don't have a bunch of SMGs, but it's time for something else. Oh, trade ship is passing by. How did I not notice that? God damn it. Okay, we gotta go with the trade ship, but we also gotta deal with an infestation that's spawning over here. Uh, and Randy decided that, yes, more infestations are going to happen in this spot. I like this. This is like a hot spot for infestations, and that's going to allow us to make even more chem fuel. In fact, yeah, we still haven't got rid of... We've still got five mega spider corpses from the last setup. How much, how much fuel we got? 
2,993 chem fuel. I really gotta start using this more. Eh, uh, one second. Well, let's see what kind of infestation Randy has in store for us today. The last one wasn't that big, so, eh. Oh, one second, I just gotta deal with an exotic goods trader first. A quick trade gives us a lot of neutronamine, which will turn into probably first aid kits. Uh, advanced components like Exude Pulsar, Sight Trainer Word of Love, a couple of his invisibilities, and a Psychic Insanity Lance, because the more Psychic Insanity Lances you can get, the better. Unfortunately, they don't have any bears. I really would have liked to have had some bears. Oh well. Ooh, and all of that should have dropped down right there. Yep, this is why we leave a hole in the middle of this uh, storage area. You'll notice there's no tiles right there, that means any drop pod stuff lands right in the middle of the storage area. Now, of course, it will immediately start to degrade, but we can just grab that and go, yeah, hold that urgently, please. And it's it's right inside, it just stops you having to drag it miles and miles. Uh, let's see what's in here. Yeah, that's a lot of bugs. Or is it? 33 mega spiders? 37 stellipedes. You know what? I think we're going to try something a little different for killing these. I'm not even going to try and pretend like this is going to be a pretty tactical job we're doing on these bugs. No, not a chance. We are going to draw these bugs into a large kill box area and try and kill them. And one second, I'll do it. this will be a little bit of me dragging them back and forth while we shoot occasionally. You will notice that the bugs have went all the way along here and they're now heading down this direction. But we're not going towards our kill box. Down here we're going towards a more open style, open plan sort of kill box. Yeah, this should be, well, mildly interesting. Animals act as a, a meat shield, then we've got water on either side, and then we've got pretty much everyone who's not injured right here. It, it should work. Okay, you guys should, you should actually evacuate. Get right over there right now. Yeah, I think we've got their attention. And because of the water, they have to funnel in here. Ooh, actually, you know what? We'll pull those animals back a bit. Eh, that's close enough. They should eventually come back here. Jesus. It's just the levels of firepower on display are kind of fun. <laughs> okay, our animals are fleeing. This is terrible. But who cares? That is just a glorious amount of firepower. That was a 5,000% success. Okay, well, except for the, all the animals getting killed and injured. But you know what? That was, uh... That was beautiful. That was 59 humans opening fire with an awful lot of submachine guns. <laughs> Did it, I don't think any of our people got injured. That is perfect. Downside, some of the bugs stayed over here. I, it seems like there's two separate hives or something. I don't know, but there's not enough of them left. We're going to wander over there with all of these people who are not close to mental breaking territory and, uh, and kill them. Be very, very quiet. It's bug hunting season. <laughs> yeah. That is exactly what I wanted. Oh, you're getting mighty close. I didn't want that. Jesus, there's just something to be said for overwhelming firepower. All right then, uh, oh yeah, we can hunt those, make sure they get killed off. Oh, and why is no one rescuing our animals? Dear Lord, people, come on, hurry up. Oh, and I'll uh, have a squad finish this off. We're quickly trying to stockpile all of these uh, stellipedes and all of the bugs into the fridge. Once they're all stored up, we can finally finish this off, if Randy would just stop distracting us. Also, we had to clear out a bunch of wildlife on the map. There was just so much good meat floating around. Still have not quite gotten around to finishing this, but Jason Zielinski is... borderline. That's nine... just about made it. You were 99%, 99%, but just barely got over the line. Uh, the thing is, we ran out of herbal medicine, so I think they got, uh, they got a normal tend, and that sort of just went out medicine, and it almost killed them. Good times. Uh, also, someone went in a fire starting for spree and that uh, set off a fire foam popper. Set it off there. Not over here when we got shot by the inferno cannons, though. No idea why. Uh, next up was, yes, we were going to load up some transport pods and do some trading, which I've been meaning to do for ages, but I keep getting distracted. But no more. 
we are going to load these up and get them completed. Who's in there? That, I think, is everything. We have a couple of these transport pods loaded up. Um, this should hopefully make sense. This is our maximum range from here, and what we want to do is we want to grab as many opportunities to get cows as possible. We can't trade with the pirates, we can't train with the greed ones, uh, we can't train with the trade uh, sorry, can't trade with the pirates, the green or the dark blue. That means our only options are these two purple here, these two yellow, uh, purple, purple, yellow. And I think we'll send someone over here. Yeah, we'll send someone to the edge right there. And then we'll walk them from there. This one over here, I think we'll send hmm, probably this far away one over this side. Clown's Lagoon, and then they could walk back through here or walk back through there. In fact, we've got two more, one one more pod to go after this. Yeah, I think over here, straight to there. Uh, give his gift, visit. Boom, and we have one more pod right here. Scott, where are you? Oh, you're grabbing a meal. Okay, after Scott grabs their meal and hops into the pod, we'll send them on their way. For the time being, yeah, there you go. You can trade with them. Ooh, cow. Yes, that's that's exactly what we were looking for. And we wanted a bull, and we wanted the cows. And what else did we bring here to sell? We also brought a bunch of insect jelly. Why won't you buy the insect jelly? Oh, there it is, insect jelly. We are 121 silver short of buying the bull, but that is fine. We can have them stay there, and we can send out another transport pod with more resources. That is perfect. That's, okay, I really didn't expect it to go that well so quickly. Uh, you... I want you to trade with them, and then trade with them. If you find any cows or anything, we'll bring you back immediately. One bull should be sufficient to get us started, so... Yeah, we're going to target cows. If we can get a bull, great, but cows will be our primary goal. This is going well. I was going to set our send our third transport pod over here, but considering this one's already got enough cows, I think I'm going to bring them ho almost home directly, which means this crowd can go over here. Uh, you can go tr visit... Are we friendly with them? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're sending. We'll visit them. Perfect. And there goes that one. Now we just have to load this up and put on a few extra transport pods. I wonder if we'll get lucky enough. There's no way we'll get cows twice in a row. I doubt it, but it's... Oh, come on! Okay, okay, okay. Um, You know what? This is fine. We'll get one cow, one bull. We don't need the second bull. We'll just take the younger one. It's perfect. We can uh, we can grab those and bring them straight back. Uh, you, actually, you can trade there immediately. And you, you have to stay there until we get you more resources. We want you to buy the second bull. Or could we? No, no. Better to have a reserve. Definitely better to have a reserve. This caravan over here has arrived at Thirst. And I would just like to point out, where is it? We've got the insect jelly here. You'll notice that currently we wear we weigh 31 kilos of mass. That's how much we have on us. If we sell all of our insect jelly, it goes up to 32. That's because the amount of silver we get weighs more than the amount of insect jelly. That's one of the reasons I threw on 100 insect jelly with all of these, is just it actually works out as a slightly lighter way to carry money. Uh, you want to trade with them. And these two crowds are coming back. This one, what have you got on you again? You have two cows and a bull, and this one has a bull and a cow. Yes, that will bring us up to three cows and two bulls when they get back. We can actually start breeding from there. We're going to do this every year. We're going to send out w one set of caravans like this. In fact, we should probably send out a caravan to there. Hmm. One moment. Right now, we have too many caravans. We have one caravan over here, about to trade it through there. They haven't found any cows yet. This caravan is coming back through here. This caravan also coming back through here. Uh, then we have this other caravan, which is going to hit up these two towns to see if we can find anything to trade. And then finally, we have one more caravan, which is coming in here to mine this out. Oh, and it's the equals to sign is the shortcut key for that. Uh, let's grab our people and mine that sucker out. Well, that's a problem. Dropping right on top of you. Wh where is right on top of you? Uh, okay, I can see these blobs here, but where is... Let me have a quick look around. We need to find out where this location is. The sooner we're prepared, the better. Well, this is not good. If my eyes are not deceiving me, I think the blobs are ending up around here. And I think some are going to land in here, some are going to land in here. We need to get those prisoners evac'd immediately. Uh, this is going to be a horrible mess. A horrible, horrible mess. Uh, I think we're going to have to hold that until tomorrow. I'm way out of time already. Uh, we managed to get this finished, but not planted. We're still producing a bunch of field hands to improve our farmers. Uh, we have... We have done quite well today, it's just this is a really bad way to end. Sorry for the cliffhanger edition, but it's just, uh, we're, we're almost at the 40 minute mark. 
On the bright side, we have plenty of cows coming back in. We've got more than enough recruits. We're up to, what, 60, 71? Oh my god, we've got 71 pawns. Oh, we still haven't named that new one, but don't worry. I was trying to actually hold that until we got these other few prisoners recruited, but yeah, we just got unlucky on that front. Anyway, I, uh, I'm sorry again about the cliffhanger. I hope you've enjoyed, and good luck. Mm -hmm.